Out of the corner, Jalen Rose for three. Remember now, going into game four, the Pacers had not sh shot the three-point shot well. They hit 10 the other Tim, I text her when it happened to try to squash it. Because that's what I do. I'm solution-oriented. And I didn't think it was life or death. And you know why else? I was calling LeVar, idiots, to have him come on Jalen and Jacoby to talk about it. So this idea that, oh, we, he got banned from ESPN, and it's her fault initially because she got a black man banned from ESPN. She's so insensitive. So now, like Jeezy said, if you get jammed up, don't mention my name. YouTube family, Jalen Rose has decided to speak on the LeVar Ball, Molly Cam incident that happened on ESPN. Of course, you know he's going to support his base, so we're going to talk about what he's saying, how he feel. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Because we're working on skilling this craft, bringing you a life gain in any situation. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Also, check out my link in the video description that says old school wrestling t-shirts. If you was an 80s baby, a 70s baby, and you like wrestling. So Jalen Rose came out with his response. The man is saying that he reached out to LeVar Ball and they've been playing um, text tag. But what stood out to me was his anger toward the people that got in the comment sections of videos and Twitter and Instagram saying things like Molly Karam got another black man banned from ESPN when she's married to Jalen, who is a black guy. Now, it's still up in the air if LeVar Ball is banned from ESPN. LeVar Ball has heard rumblings, and y'all seen the comments he made on the video I did. But a lot of people had said it'd be great if they could all come together, LeVar, Jalen, and Molly, and just squash it. And Jalen has said he's tried to do that, but he can't get up with LeVar. Now, I know some of y'all going to question that because LeVar is like a mouse. He's never ran up on a piece of cheese he didn't like. And in terms of LeVar, he's never seen a TV screen he didn't like. But it's hard for me to say Jalen is lying because we know Jalen's character. Jalen is an outstanding dude in his community up in Detroit. And shouts out to Detroit. Y'all know my wife graduated med school in Detroit. Y'all know I got love for Jamel Hill from Detroit. And I got love for Jalen because my wife is from Detroit. They, these Detroiters, they stick together. And he's done things with schools up there. He's done charity work. So Jalen is a standout guy. And He's saying he wants people to keep his name out of his mouth. Well, the incident happened to his wife. And when you get married, if you're doing it right, you two are the sum of one part. So it's like one plus one is gonna equal three. You become an individual unit. So if something happens to your wife, therefore it happens to you. Something happens to you, therefore it happens to your wife. So of course people wanted to know what Jalen had to say. And this is what he had to say. I'll let you hear the message one more time. Text him. I text her when it happened to try to squash it. Because that's what I do. I'm solution oriented. And I didn't think it was life or death. And you know why else? I was calling LeVar, idiots, to have him come on Jalen and Jacoby to talk about it. So this idea that, oh, we, he got banned from ESPN, and it's her fault initially because she got a black man banned from ESPN. She's so insensitive. So now, like Jeezy said, if you get jammed up, don't mention my name. I honestly think that if ESPN or whoever started those rumblings would not have said, this is my life game, that LeVar was banned, it wouldn't have been nothing. That's what created the storm, saying that you're gonna ban this guy for what is either a misinterpretation or an interpretation of LeVar saying he can change gears with Molly anytime. And in our society right now, we have people that get very sensitive for a number of reasons and sometimes it's just over the top. 
And that's what people have been arguing in this situation, that it just felt like it was over the top. You know what you was dealing with with LeVar Ball. You know how he's a character. You know how this guy operates. He says things for shock and our value. But on that one occasion, he I honestly feel like he wasn't doing that. But there are others who feel like he was. And that's just a subject of discussion. None of us are in the man's head. We're not in his heart. The only thing I'm judging it by is the way he said it and his body language, which to me didn't say he was hitting on Molly. It was also more of a he's just giving her respect, saying that anytime she wants to change subject of a conversation, let's do it. It felt more like Molly kind of took it the wrong way, which, you know, that's her prerogative. That's her interpretation. But... I think it would have been better even if she felt like that it just kept right on rolling just kept right on rolling and if something like that happens to your wife or your girl and she feels um, dialed upon or she feels like someone came at her inappropriately I would guarantee you all would kind of act the same way too but you would need to do everything that you guys have been doing on YouTube and all the other social media look at the situation to make sure before you step to somebody it's legit and like I said the biggest issue to the whole thing is just simply the fact that it felt overbearing for a news organization to say or even iterate that they're gonna ban somebody over something that felt so minute he didn't do any racial cussing he didn't do any you know um, FCC bad words he didn't do anything like that he didn't do anything of that nature and that's where I feel like the outrage came from in terms of Jalen and so I want you guys to leave me your comments. How do you feel about Jalen Rose reaching out to LeVar? Are they going to ever have the summit? I'm telling you all, as best I know people, as best I know Jalen Rose's character to be, there will be a sit down with these people and this is going to get squashed because Jalen Rose is an outstanding dude. And a lot of you didn't even know Molly was married to Jalen. A lot of ladies I've talked to didn't know that that's who he was married to. And so they work together. Sometimes working together can be of a benefit. And sometimes when you have situations like this, it can kind of be a, you know, a big story. It can be something that causes a lot of drama and a lot of tension because your spouse is there with you and people might be doing nefarious things just to try to get at you too. But I just honestly don't feel like that's what LeVar Ball was doing in this situation. So you guys leave me your comments. How do you feel about Jalen Rose's response? Will we ever get a beer summit with the trio? And how long do you think that the so-called ban for LeBar and ESPN will happen if it ever does? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Follow me on my social media links. Keep sending me links to any of your video requests on anything that's going on that you want to have a life game discussion about. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you. Shouts out Dolphin Nation.